A mid-ocean ridge more is a seafloor mountain system formed by plate tectonics. It typically has a depth of approximately 2,600 meters 8,500 feet and rises about 2 kilometers above the deepest portion of an ocean basin. This feature is where seafloor spreading takes place at a divergent plate boundary. The rate of seafloor spreading determines the morphology of the crest of the mid-ocean ridge and its width in an ocean basin. The production of new seafloor and oceanic lithosphere results from mantle upwelling in response to plate separation. The melt rises as magma at the linear weakness in the oceanic crust, and emerges as lava, creating new crust and lithosphere upon cooling. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a spreading center that bisects the North and South Atlantic basins, hence the origin of the name Mid-Ocean Ridge. Most oceanic spreading centers are not in the middle of their hosting ocean basis but regardless, are called mid-ocean ridges. Mid-ocean ridges around the globe are linked by plate tectonic boundaries to appear like the seam of a baseball. The mid-ocean ridge system thus comprises the longest mountain range on Earth, reaching about 65,000 kilometers. Topic. Description Topic. Volcanism Mid-ocean ridges exhibit active volcanism and seismicity. Spreading rates range from approximately 1 to 20 cm per year. New magma steadily emerges onto the ocean floor and intrudes into the ocean crust at and near rifts along the ridge axes. The rocks making up the crust below the seafloor are youngest along the axis of the ridge and age with increasing distance from that axis. New magma of basalt composition emerges at and near the axis because of decompression melting in the underlying Earth's mantle. The isentropic upwelling solid mantle material exceeds the solidus temperature and melts. The crystallized magma forms new crust of basalt known as MORB for mid-ocean ridge basalt and below it in the lower oceanic crust, gabbro. Mid-ocean ridge basalt is a tholeitic basalt and is characteristically low in incompatible elements. Hydrothermal vents are a common feature at oceanic spreading centers. The oceanic crust is made up of rocks much younger than the Earth itself. Most oceanic crust in the ocean basins is less than 200 million years old. The crust is in a constant state of renewal at the mid ocean ridges. Moving away from the mid ocean ridge, ocean depth progressively increases proportional to the square root of its age. As the oceanic crust moves away from the ridge axis, the peridotite in the underlying mantle cools and becomes more rigid. The crust and the relatively rigid peridotite below it make up the oceanic lithosphere, which sits above the less rigid and viscous asthenops here. Topic. Morphology The bathymetry, or profile of a mid-ocean ridge is largely determined by the seafloor spreading rate at the ridge. Slow spreading ridges less than 5 cm per year such as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge Mar, generally have large, wide rift valleys, sometimes as wide as 10 to 20 km 6.2 to 12.4 miles, and very rugged terrain at the ridge crest that can have relief of up to a 1,000 m 3,300 feet. By contrast, fast spreading ridges greater than 8 cm per year such as the East Pacific Rise EPR are narrow, sharp incisions surrounded by generally flat topography that slopes away from the ridge over many hundreds of miles. Ultra slow spreading ridges less than 2 cm per year such as the southwest India and the arctic ridges form both magmatic and amagmatic ridge segments without transform faults the spreading center or axis commonly connects to a transform fault oriented at right angles to the axis 
The flanks of mid-ocean ridges are in many places marked by the inactive scars of transform faults called fracture zones. At faster spreading rates the axes often display overlapping spreading centers that lack connecting transform faults. The depth of the axis varies in a systematic way with shallower depths midway between offsets such as transform faults and overlapping spreading centers dividing the axis into segments. This is believed due to variations in magma supply to the spreading center, the depth of the seafloor or the height of a location on a mid-ocean ridge above a base level is closely correlated with its age, age of the lithosphere where depth is measured. The age-depth relation can be modeled by the cooling of a lithosphere plate or mantle-mantle half-space in areas without significant subduction. The overall shape of ridges results from Pratt isostasy. Close to the ridge axis there is hot, low-density mantle supporting the oceanic crust. As the oceanic plates cool, away from the ridge axes, the oceanic mantle lithosphere the colder, denser part of the mantle that, together with the crust, comprises the oceanic plates, thickens and the density increases. Thus older seafloor is underlain by denser material and is deeper. The width of the ridge is hence a function of spreading rate. Slow ridges like the Mar have spread much less far, showing a narrower profile, than faster ridges like the East Pacific Rise, wider profile, for the same amount of cooling and consequent bathymetric deepening. Topic formation processes Two processes, ridge push and slab pull, are thought to be responsible for the spreading scene at mid-ocean ridges, and there is some uncertainty as to which is dominant. Ridge push occurs when the growing bulk of the ridge pushes the rest of the tectonic plate away from the ridge, often towards a subduction zone. At the subduction zone, slab pull comes into effect. This is simply the weight of the tectonic plate being subducted pulled below the overlying plate dragging the rest of the plate along behind it. The slab pull mechanism is considered to be contributing more than the ridge push. The other process proposed to contribute to the formation of new oceanic crust at mid-ocean ridges is the mantle conveyor see image. However, there have been some studies which have shown that the upper mantle asthenosphere is too plastic flexible to generate enough friction to pull the tectonic plate along. Moreover, unlike in the image above, mantle upwelling that causes magma to form beneath the ocean ridges appears to involve only its upper 400 kilometers (250 miles), as deduced from seismic tomography and from studies of the seismic discontinuity at about 400 kilometers (250 miles). The relatively shallow depths from which the upwelling mantle rises below ridges are more consistent with the slab pull process. On the other hand, some of the world's largest tectonic plates such as the North American plate are in motion, yet are nowhere being subducted. The rate at which the mid-ocean ridge creates new material is known as the spreading rate, and is typically measured in millimeter per year. As a general rule, fast ridges have spreading opening rates of more than 90 mm per year. Intermediate ridges have a spreading rate of 50 to 90 mm per year while slow spreading ridges have a rate less than 50 mm per year. The spreading rate of the North Atlantic Ocean is approximately 25 mm per year, while in the Pacific region, it is 80 to 120 mm per year. Ridges that spread at rates the mid-ocean ridge systems form new oceanic crust. As crystallized basalt extruded at a ridge axis cools below Curie points of appropriate iron-titanium oxides, magnetic field directions parallel to the Earth's magnetic field are recorded in those oxides. The orientations of the field in the oceanic crust preserve a record of directions of the Earth's magnetic field with time. Because the field has reversed directions at irregular intervals throughout its history, the pattern of geomagnetic reversals in the ocean crust can be used as an indicator of age. Likewise, the pattern of reversals together with age measurements of the crust is used to help establish the history of the Earth's magnetic field. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Global system. The mid-ocean ridges of the world are connected and form the Ocean Ridge, a single global mid-oceanic ridge system that is part of every ocean, making it the longest mountain range in the world. The continuous mountain range is 65,000 kilometers, 40,400 miles long, several times longer than the Andes, the longest continental mountain range, and the total length of the oceanic ridge system is 80,000 kilometers, 49,700 miles long. Increased rates of seafloor spreading, i.e. the expansion of the mid-ocean ridge, has caused global eustatic sea level to rise over very long time scales millions of years, the high sea levels that occurred during the Cretaceous period 144 to 65 Ma can only be attributed to plate tectonics since thermal expansion and the absence of ice sheets by themselves cannot account for the fact that sea levels were 100 to 170 meters higher than today. Increased sea floor spreading means that the hot young crust at the mid-ocean ridge will form at a faster rate than it can be destroyed at subduction zones. The mid-ocean ridge will then expand and form a broader ridge, taking up more space in the ocean basin and causing sea levels to rise. Sea level change can be attributed to other factors, thermal expansion, ice melting. Over very long timescales, however, it is the result of changes in the volume of the ocean basins which are, in turn, affected by rates of sea floor spreading along the mid-ocean ridges. Topic. Seawater chemistry Mid-ocean ridges are global-scale ion exchange systems, rapid spreading rates will expand the mid-ocean ridge causing basalt reactions with seawater to happen faster. The magnesium-calcium ratio will be lower because more magnesium ions are being removed from seawater and consumed by the rock, and more calcium ions are being removed from the rock and released to seawater. A lower Mg-Ca ratio favors the precipitation of low Mg calcite polymorphs of calcium carbonate calcite seas. Slow spreading at mid-ocean ridges has the opposite effect and will result in a higher Mg-Ca ratio favoring the precipitation of aragonite and high Mg calcite polymorphs of calcium carbonate aragonite seas. Experiments show that most modern high Mg calcite organisms would have been low Mg calcite in past calcite seas, meaning that the Mg-Ca ratio in an organism's skeleton varies with the Mg-Ca ratio of the seawater in which it was grown. The mineralogy of reef building and sediment producing organisms is thus regulated by chemical reactions occurring along the mid-ocean ridge, the rate of which is controlled by seafloor spreading. Topic History Topic Discovery Mid ocean ridges are generally submerged deep in the ocean. It was not until the 1950s, when the ocean floor was surveyed in detail, that their full extent became known. The VEMA, a ship of the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory of Columbia University, traversed the Atlantic Ocean, recording data about the ocean floor from the ocean surface. A team led by Marie Tharp and Bruce Heason analyzed the data and concluded that there was an enormous mountain chain running up the middle. Scientists named it the Mid Atlantic Ridge. At first, the ridge was thought to be a phenomenon specific to the Atlantic Ocean. However, as surveys of the ocean floor continued around the world, it was discovered that every ocean contains parts of the mid-ocean ridge system. Although the ridge system runs down the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, the ridge is located away from the center of other oceans. Topic. Impact Alfred Wegener proposed the theory of continental drift in 1912. He stated, 
the Mid-Atlantic Ridge zone in which the floor of the Atlantic, as it keeps spreading, is continuously tearing open and making space for fresh, relatively fluid and hot sema rising from depth. However, Wegener did not pursue this observation in his later works and his theory was dismissed by geologists because there was no mechanism to explain how continents could plow through ocean crust, and the theory became largely forgotten. Following the discovery of the worldwide extent of the Mid-Ocean Ridge in the 1950s, geologists faced a new task, explaining how such an enormous geological structure could have formed. In the 1960s, geologists discovered and began to propose mechanisms for seafloor spreading. The discovery of mid-ocean ridges and the process of seafloor spreading allowed for Wegener's theory to be expanded so that it included the movement of oceanic crust as well as the continents. Plate tectonics was a suitable explanation for seafloor spreading, and the acceptance of plate tectonics by the majority of geologists resulted in a major paradigm shift in geological thinking. It is estimated that 20 volcanic eruptions occur each year along Earth's mid-ocean ridges and that every year 2.5 square kilometers 0.97 square miles of new seafloor is formed by this process. With a crustal thickness of 1 to 2 kilometers 0.62 to 1.24 miles, this amounts to about 4 cubic kilometers 0.96 cubic miles of new ocean crust formed every year. Topic: <laughs> List of oceanic ridges. Aden Ridge, part of an active oblique rift system in the Gulf of Aden, between Somalia and the Arabian Peninsula. Cocos Ridge Explorer Ridge, a mid-ocean ridge west of British Columbia, Canada. Gorda Ridge, a tectonic spreading center off the northern coast of California and southern Oregon. Juan de Fuca Ridge, a divergent plate boundary off the coast of the Pacific Northwest region of North America. South American Antarctic Ridge, mid-ocean ridge in the South Atlantic between the South American Plate and the Antarctic Plate. Chile Rise, an oceanic ridge at the tectonic divergent plate boundary between the Nazca and Antarctic Plates. East Pacific Rise, a mid-oceanic ridge at a divergent tectonic plate boundary on the floor of the Pacific Ocean. East Scotia Ridge Gackle Ridge, a mid-oceanic ridge under the Arctic Ocean between the North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate Mid-Arctic Ridge Nazca Ridge, a submarine ridge on the Nazca Plate off the west coast of South America. Pacific Antarctic Ridge, a divergent tectonic plate boundary located on the seafloor of the South Pacific Ocean, separating the Pacific Plate from the Antarctic Plate. Central Indian Ridge, a north-south trending mid-ocean ridge in the western Indian Ocean. Carlsberg Ridge, the northern section of the Central Indian Ridge between the African Plate and the Indo-Australian Plate. Southeast Indian Ridge, a mid-ocean ridge in the southern Indian Ocean. Southwest Indian Ridge, a mid-ocean ridge on the bed of the Southwest Indian Ocean and Southeast Atlantic Ocean. Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a divergent tectonic plate boundary that in the North Atlantic separates the Eurasian and North American plates, and in the South Atlantic separates the African and South American plates. Kolbeinsey Ridge, north of Iceland. Mons Ridge. Nipovich Ridge, between Greenland and Spitsbergen. Reykjanes Ridge, south of Iceland. Topic: List of ancient oceanic ridges. Ager Ridge, an extinct mid-ocean ridge in the far northern Atlantic Ocean. Alpha Ridge, a major volcanic ridge under the Arctic Ocean. 
Kula Farallon Ridge, an ancient mid ocean ridge that existed between the Kula and Farallon plates in the Pacific Ocean during the Jurassic period. Pacific Farallon Ridge, a spreading ridge during the Late Cretaceous that separated the Pacific Plate to the west and the Farallon Plate to the east. Pacific Kula Ridge, a mid-ocean ridge between the Pacific and Kula Plates in the Pacific Ocean during the Paleogene period. Phoenix Ridge, an ancient mid-ocean ridge between the Phoenix and Pacific Plates. Topic. See also Afar Triangle, a geological depression caused by the Afar Triple Junction Geography of Iceland List of oceanic landforms, links to Wikipedia articles on landforms Petrological database of the ocean floor Project Famous RISE Project Slab window, a gap that forms in a subducted oceanic plate when a mid-ocean ridge meets with a subduction zone and the ridge is subducted. Submarine volcano, underwater vents or fissures in the Earth's surface from which magma can erupt. <laughs>